New questions tonight about an Associated Press report criticizing Congress for its apparent support of Israel. The AP sending out a tweet that read as follows, quote, as much of world watches Gaza war in horror, members of Congress fall over each other to support Israel. Does that suggest a media bias toward Hamas? Brent Bazell is president of the Media Research Center. So that was pretty surprising to many in the media world when they sent that out. I mean, it was pretty clearly taking a position. And four hours later, they changed it, revised the headline to, Many U.S. lawmakers strongly back Israel in Gaza war. So clearly somebody decided uh, as well it sounded perhaps a little biased as originally sent. Your thoughts? Well, the, the tweet uh, referred originally to a news article that was as slanted as that. Um, that news article could have been written by Hamas working for the AP or the AP is doing press releases for Hamas. It's indistinguishable. This is, makes a, a mockery of journalism. It makes a mockery of, of objectivity. Clearly, whoever's writing the, the news stories for AP is on the side of Hamas in this conflict. It's like the Washington Post the other day got caught with its, with its uh, hand in the cookie jar where their reporter who was covering an anti-Israel rally in Washington was then turning around and writing editorials against Israel for Al Jazeera. Mm, and that, but they they got rid of that reporter, uh, they, as I understand it. Um, yeah, but 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 this is what we're catching on 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 a regular basis. You're seeing this conflict of interest, and conflict of interest being that they have their personal biases at play here. The hostility towards Israel, Megan, is not new. This has been going on for 25 years in this conflict, in this most recent conflict. You go go back to Peter Jennings, the late great Peter Jennings, and uh, and the PLO uh, in in the Intifada in the 90s. Clearly, a one-sided uh, coverage against the the Israeli position. It's only continuing today. I want to ask you about Nancy Pelosi. And by the Pelosi. way, um, if these things are humanitarian, uh, th those are humanitarian bombs falling on Israel. Well, right that, now. well so you're, you're pulling that that term from what the House Minority Leader said to Candy Crowley on her CNN show over the week, the weekend on Sunday. But here's what's interesting. I want to ask you about how this ended. So Nancy Pelosi goes on there and says something that is very eye-opening, right? I mean, you could argue shocking mm -hmm. that the House Minority Leader seems to be getting her information about who Hamas is, first of all, from the Qataris. Why doesn't she know? Why is she citing them for information about Hamas? And secondly, uh, the information, many would argue, was very wrong and shouldn't be repeated by her on a Sunday show. And this is how Candy Crowley reacted, which is the piece that hasn't been played. Watch. Should we all try to, you know, first of all, avoid conflict? The Hamas initiated this. So again, this, uh, this has to be something where we try to have the two-state solution that we have to support. We have to support Abbas and his role as leader there. We have to support Iron Dome to protect the Israelis from the missiles. We have to support the right. Palestinians and what they need. And we have to confer with the Qataris who have told me over and over again that Hamas is a humanitarian organization. Maybe they could use their influence uh, to, um, uh, to... The U.S. To thinks they're a terrorist matters. organization, though, correct to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I and we've to, had that discussion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to leave it there. I hope you will come back and we will talk politics and midterm and all kinds of things going on in the right. House. Well, I appreciate just, I your think time. It's I, we all have to go up against breaks, Brent, but I have to leave it there. It was just like, why? It's outrageous. We have to confer with the Qataris for our foreign policy because they say that Hamas is a humanitarian organization. And, let, and, and she didn't touch it. You know, it's the, the problem is when somebody says something that crazy and you're up against a break, it's very hard as the reporter or the anchor. You, and in some instances, we, we can extend the segment. And in some instances, the computer is counting us down. Just remember, and we folks, have no choice. That's, that's thousands of humanitarian bombs that are falling right now. That would have been your follow-up question. <laughs> All right, Brent, good to see you.